Hey guys, this is Dice Toys and Things, and I'm back with my X Dragon Solar Charger. I've had this unit for more than a year now, and the reason why I brought this up is I actually found this cable. In my last video, I've shown you the EB, uh, Blue Witty EB3A that I bought, and this adapter right here. I think will work on that power station in this episode we're gonna try that so here's my EV EV3A as you can see the size of this thing is really really good it's very compact and pairing it with this particular uh, power station is really good because now you're talking about size difference, right? The other solar panel that I had in the last video is a 160 watts EcoPlow, which is very big for portability and, you know, um, travel. Uh, I'm prepared to have something like this if this can charge the Blue Weary. So let's set it up. Now, right on the bat, I'm on a shade but look I got power coming in this is the DZ which is supposed to give me 18 volt 2 amps of power and this is the DC uh, the USB which is supposed to give me about 5 volts let's put it in and then the other end should fit this one because this is a 5.5 millimeter there you go it's in the shade so first good thing if you can see this it says input if it's not compatible or anything like that this would flicker it's not flickering I just need to find a spot to get more Sun and then we'll see if this thing works let me just bring this out all right the cable is not that long so i'm just gonna drop it i just dropped it in there um there's some shades not a lot of sun but i should be getting just enough to bring some juice into this power station let's take a look the moment of truth oh there there you go See that 14 watts this is 40 watts so I'm not really expecting a lot from it but at least this is 14 watts and you know keep in mind this is only about 268 watt hours so with that input it's gonna take about an hour to charge it it's at 96% so not too bad I'm gonna take this off and show you there you go nothing's coming in and put it back in let's see how long before it there you go 11 watts 14 and I think if I put it into a place where there's more direct Sun I'm gonna get more uh, wattage out of it I'm not expecting to get that 40 watts this thing don't work like that uh, you'll be lucky to get about 20 watts from this uh, solar panel uh, but this is one of the uh, second to the smallest they have the 20 watts this is the 40 watts so this is the 40 watts and there's about I think there's a hundred watts and higher but you gotta you gotta have good Sun for this thing to work but it does work so if you're talking about portability yeah this is something you can bring and I've shown you how small it is when folded so yeah pretty good so I moved it out a bit as I was saying I moved it out a bit and now I'm getting about 18 watts of input and it's gonna take about 0.6 hours watts to charge it uh, that 4% left uh, this is at about 
and again it's it's not bad it's not gonna take long to charge this um, it's not a big a power station it's just nice to have a uh, solar um, capability to uh, yeah to use it up and now that I know that this thing works this is a solar charger I'm thinking of getting the bigger one about the 70 or even a hundred I mean even even that size it's not that big uh, to pair up with this um, to carry it you know you could still put it in your backpack if you want and it's it's really easy to tuck it away in the car or something unlike my uh, EcoFlow solar panel which is uh, pretty pretty big anyway there you, there you have it um, that's the uh, X-Dragon solar panel 40 watts charging the Bluetti EB3A and like I said this uh, solar charger is already a year old and it's been through a lot still working well and once again thank you for watching and please don't forget to click that like share subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when your video is out thank you and I will see you on the next one bye